But the crime trend prompting a major retailer to make a drastic change. New at 6, we've learned Target is cutting its hours at its stores in San Francisco after a spike in thefts. The new policy covers all stores in the city. Closing time, now 6 p.m. in an effort to curb losses. KPI XY's Andrea Borba is live with the retailer's decision and reaction from shoppers. Andrea? Well, Elizabeth, it is now 6 p.m. here in the city and county of San Francisco, and if you were hoping to make a Target run, it is now too late, according to the hours recently set by Target in an attempt to curve rampant shoplifting. Your Target run now has an early curfew in San Francisco, 6 p.m. Thanks to a spate of retail theft, six stores across the city are closing their doors to shoppers at least three hours earlier than normal. I'll be curious to see if other stores do that as well. The hour change was confirmed by Target to KPIX5 via email. For more than a month, we've been experiencing a significant and alarming rise in theft and security incidents at our San Francisco stores, similar to reports from other retailers in the area. It comes after brazen incidents of shoplifting across the city have gone viral. Rachel Michelin is the president of the California Retailers Association. I wasn't surprised because we've seen other retailers close um, in San Francisco. I'm actually proud of the fact that, that they're trying to hold on and keep the stores open. Michelin says San Francisco is the fifth worst city in the nation for retail theft, with Los Angeles taking the number one spot. I guess you have to do what you have to do, and if that's, if that's what they just think's the best option, then so be it. She says these shoplifters aren't working alone, but are often juveniles and homeless people tapped by organized crime to do the dirty work. There comes a point, which is what we have shared with the elected leaders of the city, where these types of decisions have to be made. And really, the bottom line is, when these employees do not feel safe coming to work, that's when they have to take these drastic measures. We asked Mayor London Breed about Target's move Thursday. I think part of it is a combination of us working together and them having the right security and the right staffing in order to make sure there's a better customer experience. Um, cutting hours is not a solution. Breed says enforcement has to be addressed. So the question is, will this person be held accountable for what they did? And that needs to be a part of the equation as well. Andrea, are these early store closures permanent? Well, in a statement to KPIX5, Target called them temporary, though did not say when the early store closures might end. Elizabeth? They want to see the conditions improve before they make that decision. All right, Andrea, thank you.